Hello, this is Matt Parry, Rackets Manager, David Lloyd Harrogate, founder of MPTC Tennis. We're here today for video two of the perfect modern tennis forehand. A uh, little bit of info before we start today. Uh, the legendary Alfie, who was putting a few guest appearances, did not want to be in the video today. He's upset because he's missing his baby swim class. It would have been at David Lloyd today, so he's a little bit upset about that. But what he has promised is that he will be in for the challenge video tomorrow and he's going to wear his favourite swimming outfit to do the challenging. So we'll look forward to seeing Alfie tomorrow. So you've just got me today. Um, a little bit more information before we get cracking. Um, I've had a few questions on the last video about how I teach the forehand, where my ideas come from. Um, this is just a disclaimer to put out there. The people that know me, I do loads of research on YouTube, books, online. I watch tons and tons of tennis videos. I've had 20 years of coaching experience, doing 40 hours a week on court. So my ideas are a sort of variety of what I've learned from other people, what I've done myself, things that I've tested and tried, where I've failed, things that have worked, and these have all sort of come together to how I teach now. A lot of my ideas I do use are from people like Rick Macy, so shout out to those really top coaches out there. Um, but that's just to give you a bit of background on why I coach and how I coach like I do. So we'll crack on with part two of the perfect forehand video. So yesterday we got ourselves into what we call the power position. We'd rotated our shoulders, we had our racket head above our hand, we had elbow extension here and elevation and that's what we're going to call the power position. And then today we're going to move from that position and three more checkpoints. So checkpoint number one, once we've gone to our power position we are then going to go to elbow extension and this is what we'll call the loop or the c shape that you'll hear other coaches say so once we've come into the power position we will c shape or loop and our elbow will extend and we call this position here and this is what we've stolen from rick macy the tap the dog on the head so you imagine you've got a dog to your diagonal and you would tap that dog on the head out in this position here and that is elbow extension. Okay, so that is checkpoint number one. So from our power position, a C shape or a loop to come out and elbow extension, tapping that dog on the head on the outside of the body. Okay, so checkpoint number two, once we've got into this palm down, pat the head position is the driving of the legs and the hips. The next part of the momentum and the swing will be the head, legs and the hips will drive and they will cause the racket to what we call flip. So the racket will come from the tap, the head, you'll pull the racket forward, legs and hips will drive, the racket will go down and back, leaving the butt cap facing the ball. So that is checkpoint number two. So from pat the head of the dog, we will activate our legs and hips, the racket will flip so it will drop down and back and the butt cap will be approaching the ball of the racket. So from checkpoint two to checkpoint three, once the butt cap is facing towards the ball, the elbow will pass the trunk. This is why it's massively important that we tap the head of the dog on the outside so that when we flip the racket and create racket lag, our elbow can come past the trunk with space. We don't want the elbow dropping in and the racket coming towards the inside of our body. We see that so often that's a nightmare for forehand. So we want to keep that racket on the outside. Hips drive, butt cap towards the racket. The swing will then go forwards and upwards and then we will rotate and pull the arm over for a nice easy finish. Again, I'll just do checkpoint three one more time. It, a, it is butt cap towards the ball. As, we, as our hips and legs activate the shot, our elbow will pass the trunk with lots of space. The swing will go forwards and upwards to create that top spin. And then our finish will be a nice turn of the racket to finish somewhere over that side. Not going to do too much about where the racket should finish because that's just a stylistic thing. 
But there are your checkpoints, a lot of information to go through today. So try to go back through the video, watch it, see if you can film yourself, look at yourself going through those checkpoints. Hope this helps. We'll be back tomorrow for the challenge day with Alfie. Keep your eye out for Jack Morrison's strength and conditioning class. He'll be sending another video through today, which we'll be putting out there. Keep safe, everybody. See you soon.